Hey, Sneaky Links back today. As you can see, I've got the XFCE screen on. Yeah, we're in Zubuntu 11.04. Now, the Ubuntu Weekly News, a little guy from, well, I think it's a big guy actually, from Dublin, he's got his own show on YouTube, said, How do you do your like spiring or rotating letters and words in your videos? The ones you're seeing around about now. Again, twirly, 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 twirly. Well, I'm just going to show you, because it's a bit of a sneaky quickie, okay? The easiest way is to go into OpenShot, the video editor, open him up, and what you want to do, you want to create a new animated title. Right, so let's go down, let's go down, rotating 360 degrees. That's the one we've been using to do that, okay? Remember, you can use Blender to do this. I'm not going to do any tutorials on Blender, because Metallic's 100 as I load already, and that'd be pointless going over him, because he's better at him than I am, okay? So we click on there, and these are the basis of what we do. So it's a title file name, you can do whatever you want there, put whatever you want in, and my title. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in here, capital who, to capital weekly, capital news. So in there we've got a bunch of weekly news. Press refresh, see what comes up. And that's it, that looks okay, doesn't it? Let's go back to the first frame, refresh again, a bunch of weekly news. That font's a bit boring, isn't it? Right. So first, we're going to do we're going to change the font. Now I'm going to use the Ubuntu font. You should have had this if you've got Ubuntu already, and you can get it, and it's a freebie. La di la di la. So we go down to uh, yeah. Uh, have I gone past it? Yeah. So we're going to use Ubuntu bold italic. Okay. We're going to refresh again. There we go. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Then we're going to extrude that just a little bit more. Number twelve, and we're going to bevel it as well to so say five. And now we're going to refresh that again. Okay, let's wait a second, refresh it. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Don't like that colour though, do you? No, I don't. Can we change it, please? Of course we can. So it goes to diffuse colour and we're going to choose red. That's what I've been doing. And click OK. Wait for it to do. And a refresh. Go okay, wait a second. And there you go. Nice red one. Now basically all you do then, if you're happy with that, is click render. And to render that will take you around about 30 seconds, if that, all depending on what system you've got, what size you're doing, etc, etc. Remember, if you've got a lot of text to put in, you can change the text size and width. Don't forget that either. So basically, all you did would do then is click on Render, and hunky-dory, all done. Now, I'm not going to sit here rendering it for you, because it will be sitting here doing loads of stuff, doing nothing. So if I click Cancel, now I've already made the file already. Here's one I made earlier. I've got to my desktop, default project, I've already rendered it out. So it comes in at 2.6 megabytes just for about six or seven seconds. You know, so it means that's why it takes so long to render. We're going to add that. Okay. I'm going to bring it back into the timeline. And we're going to, going to play it. So if I click play, there we go. You should, in theory, be seeing the rotating Ubuntu Weekly News logo. Now, it wasn't that easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yes, it was so easy. What more can I say? That's how you do it. Oh, yeah. Sneaky. Linux at. I see you later. Bye.